Maria Antonia Abad Fernandez born on 10 March 1928 and died on 8 April 2013, known professionally as Sarah Montiel and as Sarita Montiel, was a Spanish singer and actress. She has been called a sexual, feminist, and gay icon for Francoist Spain. Fleeing the misery of the countryside, his parents settled in Orihuela, in the province of Alicante, where they opened a wine business. It was in this city that at the age of 13 she took part in a singing competition, the winner of which was to be rewarded with comedy and singing lessons. She wins the first prize and quickly turns out to be a very talented student. She made her film debut in 1944 under the pseudonym Maria Alejandra, but very quickly decided to change her name. She chooses Sarah, the first name of her grandmother, and Montiel, the name of her province. These are my top 10 Sarah Montiel movies of all time. At number 10. Tusset Street, 1968. At Tusset Street in Barcelona, Violetta, a showgirl, and prostitute fall in love with Jordi, a bored rich playboy. Later she discovers that her love affair with Jordi is just a scam playing for the amusement of Jody's friends. She goes back to singing at El Molino, while Jordi is left alone with the realization that this affair was the only true thing in his life. At number 9. Queen of the Chanticleer, 1962. Queen of the Chanticleer is a 1962 Spanish historical drama film directed by Rafael Gil and starring Sarah Montiel, Alberto de Mendoza, and Luigi Giuliani. A Spanish music hall performer gets caught up in espionage during the First World War. At number 8. The Lovely Lola, 1962. La Bella Lola is a struggling singer trying to make a living for herself and her sister Ana in late 19th century Spain. Lola is having an affair with Gabriel, a rich and influential older man who gives her jewelry and supports her singing career. Things change rapidly when Lola meets and falls in love with young playboy Javier, although the romance is doomed from the start. Javier belongs to an aristocratic family and has a bright future as a politician. At number 7. Notches de Casablanca, 1963. In Casablanca 1942, while French police chief Maurice Desjardins is busy having careless fun with some loose girls, members of the French resistance kill a man at the harbor and steal his briefcase full of important documents from the Third Reich. At an apartment building in the distance, André Kuhn watches the whole operation through his powerful binoculars. He is posing as a businessman, but actually working as a spy for the Germans a fact totally ignored by his live-in girlfriend Teresa Villar, a beautiful Spanish singer who works at El Dorado nightclub. At number 6. Madness for Love, 1948. Joanna of Castel, Aurora Bautista, the daughter of King Ferdinand and Princess Isabella of Spain, is dealing with unrest in her court. She has become the target of interlopers trying to seize control of the country who, in attempting to unseat her, have launched rumors that she is crazy. The situation worsens when Joanna becomes somewhat unhinged for a very real reason, her husband, Don Felipe, Fernando Rey, is having an affair with another woman, Sarah Montiel. At number 5. My Last Tango, 1960. Distraught following his wife's suicide, American hotelier Paul, Marlon Brando, becomes transfixed by the beautiful younger Frenchwoman Jean, Maria Schneider, when he meets her by chance at an apartment both are attempting to rent. The couple begins an extended but purely anonymous sexual relationship in which they do not even tell each other their names, but it soon becomes clear that the couple's deliberate level of disassociation cannot continue. At number 4. The Devil Made a Woman, 1959. A beautiful retelling of Carmen's tragic romance. Takes place during the Napoleonic era the French occupy Spain. Carmen is a Spanish gypsy who is helping the local resistance while vamping the French high officers. She and a French lieutenant fall in love and both head toward disaster from their peoples. Sarita Montiel is gorgeous and sings perfectly. At number 3. La Violetera, 1958. On New Year's Eve 1899, Soledad is peddling violets in a Madrid busy street when she meets aristocrat Fernando. The couple falls in love, but their different social backgrounds threaten the relationship. Fernando is under constant pressure from his older brother Alfonso who reminds him of his duties including his engagement to Magdalena, a countess. Disregarding all social conventions and scandalizing high society, Fernando sets up Soledad in a plush apartment and announces their marriage plans. At number 2. The Last Torch Song, 1957. Barcelona 1950s. Maria Leon, 
Sarah Montiel, a singing superstar from the 1920s is now forgotten, broke, and alone. Juan Contreras, Armando Calvo, her ex-manager and lover, finds her singing at a modest theater in a variety show, where people ignore how great she was. Maria and Juan have an emotional reunion in her dressing room and start reminiscing about a glorious and turbulent past. At number 1. Vera Cruz, 1954. Following the American Civil War, veteran Benjamin Train, Gary Cooper, and gunslinger Joe Aaron, Burt Lancaster, are just two of many men who head to Mexico as mercenaries. When Emperor Maximilian, George McCready, recruits their services, they reluctantly work together, since the price is right. Train and Aaron are to escort Countess Marie Duvar, Denise Darcel, to Vera Cruz, but when they find a wealth of gold hidden in the stagecoach, the original plan no longer applies. Thank you for watching this video. Please share, subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.